Oh, hey, well. you guys. <laughs> hey, Freya, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you very much. I think we've, I think I spoke to you once before for The Witcher, which is that yeah, little I'm show sure that you did, that little independent show that you do that nobody watches. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the beginnings for you with with this film because i can imagine you get a script that says the word baghead on it that could mean lots of different things Many occurring things. lots As of I've different seen online yeah <laughs> i've been like uh, educated on the word baghead yes it could be it's a few different things so when you got the script and you saw that but then kind of delved into it what was what stood out for you what was the the reason why you thought yeah this is something i'd, I'd quite like to get involved with well, I think like initially I was I was very drawn to Studio Canal um, because I know that they're, you know, um, they're they're great bunch of producers and and that, you know, um, that excited me. And then and I'd done a film with them before, actually, and they were lovely to work with. And then, um, you know, I just thought I thought that there was a potential for me to be able to bring um, something interesting to Iris and to, you know, she's got an interesting backstory and and an in interesting story prior to everything that we see in in um baghead so um so so that was exciting for me and the potential as well just to do my first you know lead feature um was an exciting prospect as well i have to say i think studio canal they might be listening i think they <laughs> They probably did the best horror film of the last five years, which is Saint Maud. I have to say, I think that's probably. I haven't seen that. I should see. Oh, okay, it. that's your. That's your. Don't tell Studio Canal you haven't seen it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, agree. Go, go and see it. If you, if you do anything else, find the time to watch it. It is extraordinary. Yeah. Um, uh, Rose, Rose Glass, director. She's just directed uh, Kristen Stewart in a new film that's at Sundance. So great. Thank seek you. it out. Seek it out. So it's your first your first lead role in a in a film. Obviously, you've done The Witcher and you've done other things in between. Did you did you find that daunting at all? Or did you enjoy kind of the the challenge? Yeah, like I think you know you hear your agents beforehand being like you know you're leading, so you need you know you're you're setting the tone and all this stuff. But like you kind of similarly with shooting something like The Witcher or any of those big franchises, you kind of have to like block out that kind of any noise and just focus on what's important, which is you know, doing the work, creating the backstory, having the kind of tools in your mind of um of of their life and what what to sort of um tap when and uh, tap into when and um and and so I think I think when it got down to it, it was just like working and getting the job done and and you know I had um Jeremy and Ruby you know beside me as well which was lovely and they were you know great um support um um we were great support for each other um and so yeah i think i think but i was i think i was just excited at the prospect of getting get, having that responsibility i guess I, I um i like to be constantly challenged in everything i do so yeah I, and i learned a lot on the job you know I, it was good to have done that um as a, as a learning experience for for my next project afterwards as well nice and tell me about the lure of iris because she's she's fascinating character in the sense that she's she's dealing with a lot she's she's not only dealing with grief she's kind of you know it's a kind of coming of age in some respects you know she's dealing with who she wants to be and where she wants to go yeah and I, well I mean that's good because that was my intent going into it that was what I wanted to provide as like the actor and I think that's what you know and same goes for um for Jeremy and Ruby like I think we wanted to be there to do to to try and um be the um the the spokesman for that side of the film you know like I think because it's so easy I think to to get very enwrapped in like the supernatural element and making sure it's scary which is obviously important because it's horror and that's something I also learned that that is important of course but um we're there to kind of be um trying to push the the emotional side of the story as well so that there's something that kind of roots it in something relatable and something that will um uh make audiences you know attached I guess um so so yeah um that was that was always something that's always something I'm fighting for and in, in everything is to make sure that that's I can bring that as much as I, possible in terms of uh acting challenges I know a lot of I've read a lot of actors they struggle with different things like crying on on camera some people can do it straight away some people can it takes a little bit of time they have to kind of dig into their psyche and dig into their history or whatever to to find that 
What's the secret of being scared? Because I can imagine that's a it's a challenge to be I've scared. Not stopped talking. It actually <laughs> is. Thank you. Like I like I feel like the crying, like I got down, like I know what to do for that, you know, like I find it easy to like get into like a dark headspace, but being scared was like a challenge because you you have to pluck it out of like I basically I learned on this job that it's a very physical thing you know that for me it's about literally having to get my heart rate up so I would just like do jumping jacks on the on the spot and hold my breath until I was like out of breath and my heart was like pumping and that was like the because you know the other stuff is all emotional it's all internal it's all like in here you know Mm. um and so that it's like that that's more uh, instinctual for me but this was like something where I had to kind of learn a strategy to make it and I and I very much was learning that on the job you know as we were filming um and actually that came to be something very useful to use in other things as well so I'm glad that this was like my ground to kind of like learn that um because it's, it sounds so dumb doesn't it to say that that's hard but it, it kind of you do have to figure out your like strategy yeah especially as you as an actor you kind of know you've read the script you know what's coming but also you have to act like Iris doesn't know what's coming and, and exactly. the things and are like, natural. So it's a tough, it's a tough thing. Yeah. And you very rarely actually have anything that's like jumping you or actually scaring you, you know? Yeah. And so you're just literally, it's just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen as well, obviously you're making a horror film and it, it's got, as I say, a lot of undertones, but I've seen on social media, you and Jeremy and Ruby had a whale of a time working mm-hmm. together and you're kind of in this bubble and obviously it's an independent film. So you're working at quite a quick rate and all that kind of stuff. So it must be good to go to work every day with two people that, became friends and that you could kind of blow off steam when some of the stuff you're doing is quite intense yeah it was so much fun like um I remember when I first got to Berlin I was like feeling I was like in my little bubble like when I you know uh, sort of staying in my little box and and um and Jeremy and Ruby were like going out and my mum was saying to me she my mum was with me and she said Freya just go and socialize go out of your box and so I went out and I'm so glad I did because we all just like bonded so much and we were getting to you know experience this whole new town Berlin together and and that's just like some of my fondest memories so um yeah we we all got really close and and also like we all just laughed a lot you know like mm. they both have great sense of humor and um and Jeremy's hysterical he was always making us laugh so um so in that sense it was also really fun that could say just quickly for you before you go I use TikTok a lot and I have you or many of your co-stars from The Witcher always seem to appear no matter how far you scroll through there is just this kind of obsession with this this show and you know, my friend texted me years. the other day she was like oh my god I literally jumped out of my skin because you just appeared on my tiktok screen and I was like, right. <laughs> uh, and you've done three years of it now you're going back for four and obviously four there's new new people coming in it's just you know obviously you've got um you've got Liam coming in and Lawrence Fishburne's doing it as well have you been able to keep your feet on the ground and kind of continue to be you because I can imagine being something a franchise is big enough let alone something that's been going for four years and social media is so congested with with you guys and and everything that you're doing on the show you know what I have to say like I'm so uh, normal (laughs) like I'm so normal and like um and I'm so grateful for my family for the fact that they live in you know Oxford and I get to like be in an environment which just normalizes like it's just normal and it's just and it's just um and you know I I hang out with all my friends that I had since secondary school I go to their Mm. accommodations you know like it's obviously there's certain things you have to navigate but me as Freya is just like I'm I I'm I never get it like I I get it because if you know you see someone on a show or a film or whatever it's kind of like you know oh it's them but like I I'm I'm I hate if anyone's like trying to um I don't know trying to like schmooze you or whatever I, I just want everyone to be normal because I'm so normal and like I don't need to be like put on some kind of thing you know so very on the ground yeah That's like good. if you saw my car my family car We've been driving around in this car that has like no window. There's a crack in the front screen, which I'm pretty sure could be illegal. Um, it's like a like a dustbin in there. Like, yeah. Going back to my family's place is just like being bought yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. And what how was it hanging out with the apes? That because you've with got that apes. coming up now. That's with the apes, because you know, that's that's it's a big people, there seems to be such an affinity for the Planet of the Apes films and now obviously it's coming back and everything else if you know 
How was that ex- was experience? Amazing. I know you can't Honestly, probably say too much. I can't say too much, but it was the best experience of my career so far. And I have was just in ADR the other day, so I've seen majority of the film. And, um, and I'm very, you know, uh, critical of films but and I don't want to say too much in case I'm like but I know I'm not even like I think it's I think it's going to be I think people are I just go see it I think it's going to be good yeah I think people are quite excited to to go back to to see what's happening really it's a new like, yeah. it's yeah. really is like does feel like a refreshed version it's not like doesn't feel like the same old th- it's yeah it's got everything in there it's really is it's going to be a good film so fantastic busy year for you then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> busy year it's good that you keep your feet on the ground, though. I think that's... I'm very you know, on the ground in, in that yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fresh, I'd love you to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. And, uh, yeah, good luck with everything this year. I hope it goes really well for you. Thank you so much. Lovely chat. Thanks so much. You Bye. too. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey, you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys!